I remember the very first moment I met you. Okay. <laughs> the moment I got back to the apartment, I told Cameron I wanted to marry you. That was the first time I felt love outside of God and family. The very first moment was when she invited me to go to church with her. And I had been looking around for a church there in College Station. And that was the first time that I met her. And that, that was like, man, this girl's she's beautiful. She's got a, a heart after God. And I, I want to try and marry this girl. Well, I did, but then she had to get her hair done. She's going all over the place, Miss Driver. I noticed. You need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Is that not funny? Yeah. It's, it's weird how you can go almost 20 years clueless of who you'll marry, but all that can literally change in an instant. I can't wait to see your dress. I can't wait to be on the beach with you. And I definitely can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I loved you then, I love you now, and I'll love you forever. I knew he was in trouble because I walked in and I actually saw him cleaning his room. Something I've never seen before, and I don't think I ever saw after that. Um, and I had the privilege of going on double dates with them and seeing them grow closer and just seeing, you know, God work through their lives, and it was a wonderful experience. And uh, congratulations. I wish you all the best, and uh, I know you all will be happy. <laughs> From the day you introduced me to Jared, I knew he was the one for you. The way he laughed at your corny jokes and jumped right into our silly conversations, it was obvious that there could never be anyone more perfect for you. I am so thankful that God prepared each of your hearts and brought you together in his time, for we know that he makes everything beautiful in his time. Lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. Jared, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>